the switch. All right. Thank you. Folks, it's, again, it's good to be here. A great privilege to be uh, on, on TV and radio and, and probably possibly the internet and stuff and, and a, a great privilege. And, and we uh, was on radio a few years back and, and uh, it's be a lot easier just to stand before you. And, and, uh, but we do pray, we desire your prayers. And we, we've uh, been serving God a long time. And uh, we, we are not ashamed of our Lord and Savior. And we sure don't want him to be ashamed of us. And, That's right. and we thank uh, some of the folks from Faithway coming out and helping us today. And, and some are sitting in the audience and stuff. And we may God bless them. But you all be praying for us. And, and the scripture I'm going to be reading is out of Acts chapter 13. And the, the mind said, and, and even as I read it, it convicts my heart. It's a willing heart. A will and heart. And, and you know, we've uh, been preaching on the heart, I guess, for a while. But we want to deal with the will and heart today. And I, I believe, I believe it'll, it'll help us. And if we don't get challenged every now and then, then, uh, then you know, we ain't going to grow. So I want to grow in the Lord. And I've been growing and, and never have stopped. Praise. Don't plan on stopping. And, uh, but let us pray. Father, we pray, God, add a, a blessing to your word. God, we thank you for this great privilege. God, we pray, God, that you would visit the sick, the shut-ins, God, those in, in jail and prison, God. Wherever they may be, God, we pray. Those driving down the road, Father, we pray. We send a word of deliverance out to them, God, our friends, God, our neighbors, God, those at Pleasant Springs, God, those, those great, great people, God, that we have. We pray blessings be upon them, God. God, we send a word, God, into their home, God, into their life, into their heart. And we pray that you would move mighty, God, tonight. God, move mountains, God. God, mighty mountains for them. In Jesus' name. Yes. And everybody says, Amen. Amen. It says, Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, which was called Nijar, and Lucius, and Serene, and Manan, and had been brought up with Herod, the Tetarch, and Saul. And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed into to Cilicia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. And the mind said, and Paul and Barnabas were was willing and they were ready and, and they, they were just seeking an opportunity and, and, and the mindset too also is as is, is God had placed a calling upon their life and, 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 and I mean there's a lot of people that can go but until God has sent you and it's just like there's a lot of people that are called but it says but few are chosen so when we, we pass test after test after test and God chooses us and God sends us out he's the Christ is the he's the I am. Amen. He is present in every situation. He was in our past bringing us to Jesus. He'll be in our present keeping us. And he'll be in our tomorrows bringing his divine plan to pass. You know, God has a plan for our life. And, and folks, sometimes I wonder, uh, I was telling folks at Elbert Pleasant Springs, Brother Jonathan, yeah. I said, here we are, we've slipped and fallen and tripped and landed right in the will of God. <laughs> I mean, what a place to be, ain't it? And there's no greater place. Had a missionary come by and he said, said if I'm in Africa, and I'm in God's will for my life. I'm saved. If I'm in, in Australia or wherever I'm at, wherever I'm at, if I'm in God's will and I have God's plan for my life, then that's where I need to be. I'm in safety. It says he'll give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. I, you, I mean, folks, if we get in God's will and he has a plan for our life and we're it's that willing and obedient, then we shall eat the good of the land. I want the good, don't you? I don't want 